Welcome to Marketing Without the Marketing. I'm your host, Michael Bosey, and it's good to be back after a few months away. I had a chance to do a lot of thinking about the show, its purpose, uh, the format of it. just want to change things up a little bit, uh, not just to keep myself interested, but hopefully to keep you interested as well. When I decided to put the show on hiatus, I got so many great messages of support uh, uh, via the comments section, via email, a lot of you reaching out, uh, some phone calls too. I just really appreciated all the support from you and realized, you know, look, I got to find a way to keep this going because you, my audience, I really appreciate you. Um, And I feel like we're on this journey together. So let's Let's keep it going. But I wanted to make some changes because I was sort of getting bored with the format of the show. And um, while the topic matter is really important, I felt like it was it was time to refocus uh, to meet the current moment. Please allow me to explain. Uh, changes that I'd like to make here is, uh, first of all, I want the show to be a lot shorter. I want to try to keep episodes to around five minutes or so. No one wants to hear me talk for 20 minutes at a time. I certainly don't. I can't imagine that you want to either. So I'm going to look at crossing the 10-minute mark on an episode as a failure on my part now. The show is going to be focused more on, you know, calling out the shitty marketing by shitty marketers. Um, Look, the data don't lie. You seem to like my rants. Uh, the downloads, the shares, the comments, the emails that I get on those type of episodes I've done so far, far surpass the quote unquote teaching episodes. So more rants you get then. And uh, we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Uh, I want to do less, you know, teaching content. You know, frankly, for me, they take too long to produce. Uh, And I want to leave more time in my life for doing the things I've been doing over the past few months, which is songwriting, blogging, other writing of more personal nature. That's been really nice to to do more of that and devote more of my time. So I want to leave more time to do that rather than producing these long episodes of this teaching content. Uh, I'm going to stick to strategy, uh, experience that I get week by week, you know, working with clients. I mean, look, you can figure out the tactical parts, right? I don't need to teach you anything. I just want to give you food for thought, maybe a different perspective from someone who's like you as a practitioner running a small business. You can make the the uh, decisions on your own. And, you know, I, I guess I've really just been coming to the realization that I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with being an expert, right? I'm not above you in this. We are all running a business. You're running a business. You're just as much as, as uh, of an expert as I am. All I can do is share my experience and hope that you will do the same in this community, right? If my experience helps you, great. I'm honored. But I'm not going to you know, sit here and tell you you should do anything or this is the way that this is done or you need to do this. That's stupid. You don't need that from me. And you may have noticed I had started using uh, more of a we rather than I or you tone over the past year or so already. We, as small business owners, do X, Y, and Z. We are in this together. We need to think of new strategies to propel our business forward or to survive Uh, during this pandemic and the shutdown and uh, where all of us are in danger, um, you know, it doesn't look the same for anybody out there. So there's no way that I'd be able to give you advice that would be worthwhile at all. We figure this out together. And this stuff is the digital representation of us and our businesses, right? All this stuff that we do, whether it's web, blogging, podcast, social media, email, your online store, all this stuff that I've been talking about over the past number of episodes, the danger that we always risk is 
in missing the mark by using the wrong language. We use web cliches, uh, even unwittingly, even unintentionally, we could be putting off our audiences in the way that we present ourselves, right? The nuances are really, really critical. And I feel like this stuff is really important in our ability to do what we need to do. Now, I'm going to try to publish every other week or so, uh, maybe a few times a month. Uh, my idea here is these are going to be shorter, but maybe hopefully more frequent. But I also want to do some more exclusive stuff on Patreon for my supporters. The thing that I want to do is the folks who really want to come on this journey with me, I want to bring this into a closer community with those people, the folks who are really into the things that I'm doing. Uh, so in other words, a broader scope, the songwriting, the other writing, uh, the creative process stuff. Listen, if that's you, great. Uh, that would be awesome. Join me on Patreon, a link in the show notes, uh, patreon.com slash mbosey. Or if this podcast is enough of me, that's awesome too. I love you all. All right. Uh, given that I'm at the five minute mark already, uh, it's time for me to stop and I'll continue in the next episode uh, about, you know, some of the topics that I'm going to get into uh, and really start to try on this new format. So I'm glad to be back. Glad to have you with me uh, as we sort of restart this journey. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for listening.